Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now he's saying, if you will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, read. To observe, to do all his commandments, and his statutes, which I command thee this day. If you don't keep his commandments, read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He's saying curses will come upon us and overtake us if we broke his commandments. Next verse. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. So now let me ask you this. Who's cursed in the city? Why? Right. Because we broke his commandments. Right. Jump down to verse 43. There's, there's from 15 to verse 68 list all the curses that apply to blacks and Hispanics. And we're going to go through a couple of them. Bring it and out. through process elimination, you tell me who this applies to. Yeah. No, I'm going to get to your question in a second. I'm going to answer his and I'm going to come back to you. Because I don't want to lose the thought. You tell me who this applies to. Because the reason these curses are happening to these people is why? Because we broke God's commandments. Verse, 40, verse 41. Verse 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them. For they shall go into captivity. So, what nation of people beget sons and daughters, but they were taken into captivity? Historically, who, who did that happen to? Black people, 12 years of slave. You see it in uh, Mandingo. You see it in Good Uncle Tom. You see it right here. You would have, we would have children, and they would be snatched from us and go straight into captivity. You wouldn't be able to enjoy it. Watch this. Read on. Verse 42. All thy trees and fruit of thy land shall the locusts consume. Read. Verse 43. The stranger that is within thee. He says the stranger that is within thee. Because believe it or not, all these other nations, we are supposed to be ruling above them. They are considered strangers amongst them. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we're supposed to be ruling over all nations upon this earth. Right? But we broke God's commandments, so God said, the stranger that is within thee, read, shall get up above thee very high. He's going to get up above thee very high, read. And thou shalt come down very low. And we will come down very low. Why is that? Because he's breaking God's commandments. Right. Are you with us? Watch this. Read on. He shall lend to thee. That's what it says. He is going to lend to us, right? Because who do we have to go to if we want a loan? If we want, like, it's a cash loan right there. Who owns that? White people. We don't own that. Who owns the banks? Who owns the big banks? Are we loaning to them? It says, he shall lend to thee, read. Right? And thou shall not lend to him. We ain't going to lend to him. We're not going to give him aid. He gives us aid. Now, you want to address something. Give me Exodus 11 and verse, that's fine. Exodus 11 and verse 7. Because I noticed you got that cross on your, the ump on, on your, now, let me ask you this. Do you follow Egyptology? Do you follow that? No, I'm still studying. Yeah. You still studying? Because yeah. many of our people yeah. go and find some type of identity in Egypt. Keep in mind, Africa's a big country. But we always, us here in America, we always tend to gravitate towards who? Egypt. We go to Egypt. Watch this. Give me Exodus 11 and verse 7. There's a difference between us and Africa. Right. Between us and Egyptians. Right. When you read the Bible, we as a nation of people, we always busted after Egypt. We always look into Egypt for some type of comfort. I'm going to go and tell you right now, Egypt has nothing to offer us. That's now, right. keep in mind, our true homeland, our true heritage is Israel. Where are you? you see them Jewish people over there? That's our land right. that they stole, and they live in there now. That is our land. We the true Jews. We the true Israelites. We ain't African. We ain't Egyptian. And, and I'm going to show you in the Bible. Because let me ask you this. Do you believe in the Bible? So I'm going to show you what the Bible says about Israelites and Egyptians. Watch this. Video. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 11 and verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel, Shall not a dog move his tongue? It says a dog ain't supposed to move his tongue against the children of Israel. That's how, that's how, that's that's where God puts us on as far as how much he glorifies us as a nation of people. We are his chosen people. He said a, a, a dog better not move his tongue against the children of Israel. That's how special we are to God. Read on. Against man or beast that ye may know. That ye may know, read. How that the Lord just put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. God put a difference between us and the Egyptians. 
God put a difference between us and the other nations. We ain't Egyptian, brother. Egypt is not our homeland. Why the fact, give me Galatians. Uh, Bring it out. Uh, uh, I'm going to show you where our homeland is. Our homeland, it's in Africa. Yes, it is in Africa. But it ain't Egypt. It is not Egypt. Watch this. Galatians 4, give me that. 4 and 26. It's the book of Galatians, chapter 4 and verse 26. But Jerusalem. It says, but Jerusalem. Where's Jerusalem located? In Africa, but where? In Africa. Israel. Jerusalem is in Israel. That's where you see all them. They be having, that's, that Jerusalem is where they call it Israeli now, and they have Tel Aviv there, and they have Jerusalem. Jerusalem is in Israel, which it is, you're correct. It is in Africa, but it's, the name of the continent or the our land is Israel. Right. Watch this. It says, but Jerusalem, read, which is above, is free. Come on. Which is the mother of us all. It says Jerusalem was the mother of us all. Right. So where is our home? Jerusalem. And that's what the Bible said. The Bible says, but what has happened is we as a nation of people, we think every person, every brown skinned person is the same. And they're not. We are not the same. Right. We are different people. You can and you can even see it. Think about it. Have you seen real Africans that come over here from them? They tell you we ain't the same. They don't, cause they know what we don't. We ain't the same people. Uh, everything, our features are different. Just cause we both dark skin, it don't mean we're the same people. Right. We are the Israelites, brother. We ain't that. That uh, that's idolatry. Right. Just like that Christian cross is idolatry. They go hand in hand. They are meant to keep us destroyed. Yeah. Give me that, what you say? Yeah, give me that. Deuteronomy 28, 64. Watch this. That's another curse upon our people. Watch this. Deuteronomy 28. We're going back to Deuteronomy 28. So verse 64. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. We as a nation of people were scattered among all people, correct? How was we scattered? Throughout all the world. By the white people. In, in particular, where is it at? Right here. Through the transatlantic slave trade. You've probably seen this picture before. They had, we was in Israel. We fled into the west coast of Africa. And they took us and they, they scattered us throughout all the four corners of the earth. Matter of fact, if you got some time, we'll go through it. You know Hold what? it. I actually got to get some food. No, you good. You good. Um, we got our information's on the back. If I will be able to meet up with y'all later on. Or? Watch that. Yeah, call the number. It's a number on the back. Call it. You'll get in contact with him. And, and we can go from there, bro. This is your true heritage. You are an Israelite, and guess what? If we want to change anything, we got to come back. I'm going to leave you with this before you leave. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Bring it out. Since you got your kids in the car. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. I'm going to leave you with this. Because out of everything we said, this is what's going to change us as a nation of people. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel... What did the Lord thy God require of thee? God requires something of you, brother. Ain't no coincidence that you drove by and stopped here and seen us. Right. God requires something of you, requires something of you, and even requires something of you. This is what God requires. Come on. Yeah. But to fear the Lord thy God. You're supposed to fear God, meaning you know that he can put your behind to death. Right. Come on. To walk in all his ways. And guess what? You're supposed to walk in all his ways. And his ways are found here. Like... For example, you don't even realize it. A man is supposed to have a beard. That is a commandment of God. Guess what? A man, you're supposed to have fringes on all your clothes. That is a commandment of God. Today is the Lord's Sabbath day. You're supposed to keep this day holy. No buying, no selling, no cooking on today. Uh, like we brought up to the sister earlier. Women are supposed to wear a dress. They ain't supposed to be in pain. A man, you ain't supposed to eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. These are the ways of God that we as a nation are supposed to walk in, and that's what's going to clear up our community. Right. That's what's going to get us from the bottom to the top. Watch this. Read on. And to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments. To keep the commandments. We're supposed to love God with all our heart and all our soul. Our mind is supposed to be on keeping God's commandments, not half step. Not, you know what I'm saying, I'm battling, I might do it. You're supposed to be like, look, I fear God, I'm going to do whatever the Bible says. Right. To hell with what anybody say, because you're going to catch back by it. Your family going to hate you. You're you, you going to lose friends. It's happened. But at the end of the day, what, who do you fear more? Do you fear God or do you fear man? I, you know, I fear the one who can take your body and 
Right, and that's what you're supposed to do. So check us out, brother. When you get a chance, check us out. You, what was your name again? Kevin, Kevin Azariah. Good to meet you. Make sure you check us out, man. We, we got our website on there. You can check us out. We got videos. Also, call the phone number. We're trying to establish a school here. God is trying to call you, brother. It's up greater. So make sure you check that out, bro. Shalom, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.